The bronze match is usually a question of motivation. After losing the semi-final the day before, the two teams have to pick themselves up and be ready for the fight. What better motivator than a patriotic home crowd of 11, 12,000 cheering you on? But the Romanians also had a big carrot, as third place here gives automatic qualification to next year's World Championships in Brazil. The match was very tense from the start, with both teams playing formidable defence and goals were at a premium. Denmark took a two-goal lead, 5-3, at the middle of the first half, but Romania answered with their own four-goal surge and led by two at half-time, 9-7. The second half was more of the same, great defence and goalkeeping generating even fewer goals. The Romanians seemed to have the game wrapped up, taking a three-goal lead 16-13 with four minutes remaining. But Denmark, spurred on by the audience, reduced the deficit to one goal and won the ball with one minute to go. But the last shot with 30 seconds on the clock was off target and Romania kept the ball to the buzzer and celebrated the second bronze medal at a major championship and a place in the World Cup. Whereas for Denmark, the adventure ended on a sour note. You must be extremely happy now. Yes, I'm so happy because uh, we want to win and we win. This is very important for us. It was a tough game of very tough defence and good goalkeeping. Yes, it is true. Yes, it was. I'm so happy because uh, all team, we fight very much and after we win. This is very important for Romania. Uh, you had a fantastic defense in front of you, but you are the hero of the match. So personally, you must be very pleased. No, I think uh, God is the hero. Just I do what he said. Thank you. And you have now qualified for the World Championships next year. Was that a big factor bef before the match? You knew that if you win, you go to the World Championship? Yes, we know that. Uh, and uh, we try to fight because it's very important And this. I know it's a dumb question, but you must be very, very disappointed after this match. You're very right. It's not... Uh, I don't know. I have no words for this. Uh, we have a good defense. They don't score more than 16 goals, but we have a not so good attack. Uh, we make only 15 goals, and it's not good enough. So if we want to be number th uh, number three in Europe, we have to be better. So we were just not good enough today. Of course, I'm disappointed, but uh, we fight it all through the game very good, and in the defense were very good. Uh, they only got 16 goals, and uh, so we have a problem in the attack. and. Uh, we haven't um, involved our attack uh, enough in this uh, tournament, so, uh, but now it's a little uh, sad feeling. After a fantastic beginning to the tournament, you lost the three games, uh, the three last games. It must be hurting a bit to go out of the tournament like this. Yes, of course, but have we lost the first three games, we weren't here anyway. So uh, uh, I'm proud of the team and what we did, but, uh, and we are among the four best in Europe and we have to be proud of that. But uh, of course, it's a little... Today, I would like we have one to give the audience and Denmark uh, a good feeling in the end. The last minute, there were 30 seconds left when you had your last shot. Was it a mistake to back off instead of uh, pressing them high court and try to win the ball back? Yes, you can say that, but uh, the, the game was not um, uh, ended there. Mm -hmm. So we, we had to make it uh, much goal in the beginning and uh, all through the game. So uh, what we did in the end, it doesn't matter. But the whole tournament, it's been a very big uh, adventure for you. Yes, very much. Uh, the audience here in Denmark have been uh, great and beautiful and we have so thankful for what they have uh, helped us all through the tournament and uh, it's an uh, experience I can look back on when I get old and it's very, very, I'm very proud to have uh, been here with the team.